This is a behind the scenes look to truly where magic happens. This is the producer's booth at News Radio 1020 KDK, CBS Radio World Headquarters in Green Tree. It's where Bambino, my producer, works. Jenny Bloodworth overnight got me started today, did a lot of good work for me, as does the Bambino every week. And no matter what anybody tries to tell you, producers truly make or break anybody that's behind a microphone anywhere in the radio. And I'm grateful for everything that they do. And I'm also grateful that Bob DeVorczyk brought in today the paperback copy and the hard copy of his book, Drive On, The Uncensored War of Bedouin Bob and the All-Americans, and it's worth him telling you about it again. Robert? Uh, yeah, this is a uh, journal I kept during uh, Desert Storm uh, when I went over to uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, spent time with every branch of the military service, um, and uh, especially the uh, 82nd Airborne Division, the All-Americans. And uh, it's a... Uh, inside look at what it's like to go through a war and uh, how much uh, appreciation is due to men and women who actually uh, have to carry out these things. Um, and uh, it was uh, an effort that was 26 years in the making, so I'm uh, really glad it's out. You look at the, uh, the board here and you say the guys who press the buttons behind the scenes, this is behind the scenes look at what it's really like. Dedicated to every American who has worn the uniform with honor, especially my Army brothers in the Falcon Brigade, Brigade of the 82nd Airborne Division and the Nasty Boys of Bravo Company for having crossed the line of departure onto a battlefield. Well said, well written. He's one of the best ever. Ladies and gentlemen, drive on the Uncensored War, Better Win Bob, and the All-Americans. Check him out on Facebook. Check out the Drive On Facebook post. And you can get this book, Amazon.com, or, of course, wherever great books are sold. And uh, congratulations, Bob, on, on a, a tremendous piece of work that, that you put out. I've been telling everybody that I talk with about it. it it's uh, and, and I say I'm, I'm not one of those guys who reads a book a day type of guy, but uh, when I got into that one, it was hard to put it down. Really an enjoyable read. I appreciate that, Greg. Yeah. Give me one quick story, then we got to talk sports. Go well, I'll tell you the, uh, the, the cover. Uh, this is uh, a place where I slept. And it's a showing. there's a purpose to that. Uh, it's it's called a hasty because you dig it in a hurry. It's six feet long, three feet wide, 18 inches deep, and you stack all the dirt on the north side. It'll block the wind. Uh, if an artillery shell hits nearby, there's a chance that the dirt would save you from the shrapnel. But if the shell landed and you took a direct hit, there's nothing anybody could do. But all they have to do is shovel the dirt back on top of you because you dug your own hasty grave. It's uh, it's part of being in the infantry. As I have learned many times, never be hasty in anything that you're doing. <laughs> Haste that's, makes way. That's incredible stuff. That is drive on the uncensored war of Bedouin Bob and the All Americans. There you go, folks, right there. Now, Sidney Crosby, 998 in holding. They take on Vancouver coming up uh, later this week. They lost in overtime. Connor Murphy got the goal. About 28 seconds left in overtime. Thought process is too much being talked about this 998 trying to get a thousand points only 86 have done it and he's going to do a lot more before it's all said and done yes i think there's been maybe too much focus on he hasn't done it in the last two games if he just relaxes and plays his game it's going to happen uh, and uh he's had some chances he hit the post he he's done some things but you know there's uh, it's just a milestone it doesn't mean anything as far as uh, making the playoffs and being in the uh, take, getting another Stanley Cup. Bob, you're too easy on the guy. He's in a horrible slump right now. He Trade can't put, yeah. he can't throw the but, the biscuit in the basket right now. We've got to get some. Maybe we can get some players for him if we were to go out and look strongly enough. Trade deadlines. Coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, you got to put the puck in the net. <laughs> All right, we got to hurry up here. Bambino's got to go to back to work behind this uh, console here in just a couple of moments. Now let's talk about the Pirates. Pitchers and catchers, February 13th. Have they done anything to improve their chances of winning? During the off season, I don't think they've done enough. Um, you know, still question marks of the rotation, which is the most important piece of the puzzle. Questions in the bullpen, and they've got some issues with uh, with the lineup, uh, who plays where, and uh, and a whole new uh, outfield as far as where everybody's playing. So a lot of question marks, but that's you know that's the fun of spring training. You answer the question, and that's a great thing, Bob. About baseball, it kind of hope springs eternal when we get to this point, and and it, it, from an optimist point of view. It's not did they do enough, it's do they have enough to, to get to the point where you get to the middle of the season then you maybe add a bit, a bit of a piece here or there to get you to the point where you then make the playoff run after the July 31st trade day. And don't forget, they're competing against the Cubs and the Cardinals. 
in that division. Yeah, but are they really? I mean, to win the division they are, but really they can lose to those two as long as that's the only two that they lose to, and they can still get a wild card, wild card spot. And by the way, in the East Liverpool Review today, which is a nutting old newspaper, Terry Francona, talking about the upcoming season for the Indians and speaking about Terry Francona. I discovered this week my daughter at the University of Arizona, of course, and uh, in following their baseball program, uh, Terry Francona made a $1 million donation to the baseball program at the University of Arizona. Real nice gesture. Pretty good for a kid who grew up in New Brighton, and the Bambino actually played as a small child at the Terry Francona baseball field in New Brighton. So, folks, it's the circle. Oh, line. I know, man. It's yeah, all, it no, all nothing. The Bambino was once a small child. <laughs> yes, he was. Kumbaya, <laughs> kumbaya. As we sit around this campfire that is the Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday Show. All right, golf. We're going to end on golf. Jordan Spieth playing like he was just a few short years ago. He's got a six-shot lead. Final round, AT&T Pebble Beach Pro Am. And unless they have a monsoon, looks like he should win this thing. Yeah, it's his third year. He had a great. He's playing like he did as a rookie when he took the golfing world by the throat and owned it. Uh, tremendous tournament, but tremendous start for him in, the, in, in three top ten finishes before this. So uh, I think he served notice that he's back, refocused, and re-energized and ready to. Uh, challenge everybody for that number one role. He loses this one. It could be the biggest loss and give up on, on a large lead in, geez, who knows how long, Bob, maybe in, in two a week. weeks. Yeah. Great. Tiger Woods is out yeah. for a couple more weeks. Back spasms. That's not good for people that like Tiger Woods and I'm a fan of Tiger Woods, and I think he's good for golf. It really is almost, almost hard to believe that he'll ever be back even half of what he once was. Well, he missed so much time because of back issues and back surgery, and to come back and have that uh, cut short so quickly because of a back issue, it just tells you that there's something really fundamental. How much you know these upcoming events. I'm sorry, Rob, okay. the, 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 uh, the Riviera event was one yeah. that he always he, enjoyed he so playing. much, and, uh, so it's got to be tough for him to miss. We that. all love the sporting life. We all love the game that is the game, but there is a big difference between how they say sometimes it was a war out there. That's not yeah. reality. But this is war, and it's written in this book, Drive On, The Uncensored War of Bedouin Bob and the All-Americans. Please, folks, pick it up. You're going to absolutely love this book. Have a great day from CBS Radio World Headquarters in Green Tree.